One, two, three. So we got all that. We're probably gonna need to get blood sample anyway. Yep. <gasps> Good morning, evening, and night, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back. Today, we are going to be playing Zucosis. I've been real excited to get into this game. I've been watching as the trailers have been dropping. I've been trying to avoid any spoilers. So far, people... It's mixed reviews on Steam. I got it on a sale, $22 instead of just $25. So, uh... Yeah, we're just going to hop right into it blind. Uh, and I'm just going to let the gameplay speak for itself. Before we begin, I want you to put down your scribble. Okay. My scribble scrabble? Definition of confidential information. Non-disclosure obligations. Limitation of obligations. Term of agreement. Dispute resolution. Other conditions. So it already looks like... Okay, so his name's Oliver. So it looks like he's already getting me to sign my rights away to him so let's just sign our rights away here you go have them take them all yours what are we up to excellent you made the right move just a couple more things never mind your name's doc your family out of poverty i really hope so attach this to your chest our scientists require us to do this to see everything that happens in the enclosures okay scientists. i thought this was a zoo true Never thought that the smart Alex belonged right in the zoo. <laughs> Funny. You got the joke. Funny. Excellent. Now let's get started. First, grab Give your it. personal PDA. It's necessary for interacting with all the work objects. Okay. Congratulations, you've taken the first step to becoming a part of our close knit zoo family. Uh, wait, what's wait. this for? What are you just inject me with? Later. Okay, I just got gooed up. Okay. Keep dragging me, I guess. Oh, are you finally awake? Good. Get up. It's time to get to work. What the hell? What did you do to me? What did you do? I took care of your health. Working with animals requires prevention. You wouldn't want to bring some kind of infection home, sure. would you? Sure. Sure. That's By what you way, did to I me. Took your phone as well. I'll return it in the morning after the shift. Just search my so body. Got the job. I thought we had an interview. My wife. This doesn't seem like I'm becoming a zookeeper. Be yours if you make it through the Not night. at all. Let's go. I still have a lot to show you. Let's go. Show me. Show me, Doc. Ooh. Gadget, trolley, bio waste filter, brick trolley. Feces, centipede. Centipede? Yeah, this uh, doesn't seem like a zoo. What's up? It's quite spacious here. Yep. You're this smiling. Hub. You'll have plenty Jesus. of everything here, except time. Now we're in the cold room. Okay. Here we store herbs, vegetables, and fish while the meat gets ground into portions for the animal rations. And right now we're running low on herbs and vegetables. Got the hint? Get to it. You can find the instructions in your PDA. Uh, oh, okay. Low two herbs and one vegetable. Okay. I'm not gonna listen. I'm gonna do two vegetable and two herb. I'm gonna, I'm gonna over prepare. I'm gonna be ready. Is there more stuff? Are you planning to spend the whole night? Shut Most up. Of the bricks will be left as a reserve, and take these ones with you. What is this? To show you our work I can't course. click it. It's a lever. There's meat, giraffe. Oh, penguin's the only one that... There's a penguin? Okay, let's go. What was that? There's something in the works that you're not ready okay. to know about yet. Let's start with the basics. Uh... Oh, I can't take any more? I want more. I wanted to stack more. That's... Okay. And here's our K-A-T-I-E. Kinetic Automated hey, Transport Katie. with Innovative Engineering. Katie will take you around the zoo. Okay. Push, push, push. This is the refrigeration compartment. 
You need to load the brick trolley here. Until you load it here, Katie won't budge. Fine. The brick trolley, you need to activate the lever. Okay. Now, select the giraffe enclosure on the control panel and start the train. Fine. Okay, let me fix my mouse sensitivity real quick. It's a little high. There we go. That's better. That's better. Giraffe. Alright, we're going. Why do you keep smiling at me? What's up? You get too close, he doesn't smile. What are you up to? So we're at the giraffe What are you up to? Now listen carefully, I won't repeat it twice. This is our mobile veterinary station. Here you'll be mixing medications for our animals. Are okay. they sick? Well, they can be. We need to closely monitor the health of the animals. We have some quite rare specimens, so the thought of anything happening to them is out of the question. Take this seriously, and we should all be safe for another day. Sure. Follow me. This is our kitchen factory. To collect feces for tests, you have to feed the animal its favorite food. Okay. Here's where you'll prepare it. Choose the recipe from the list. Cut, mix, and you're done. Any questions? No. Yes. Yes. Excellent. <laughs> Sue needs those who aren't afraid to ask. But even more so, it needs those who find answers themselves. All right, enough chit chat. Go to the cutting table. All right. What do you need me to cut? You need to select the giraffe from the list. Giraffe. Cook. Don't make a mistake with the weight. The exact measurement is displayed on the weight indicator. Uh, Measure carefully. This much? Excellent, Paul. <laughs> 3.2. Same with the herbal brick from the recipe. Go ahead. 1.5. Right here. 1.1. Perfect. Now activate the lever to lower the gadget trolley. Okay. You're making me nervous, dude. I don't like how you're smiling at me all. Okay. Let's go. What? What is that? Dude, what was that? What was that? I thought zoo could be organized like this. A train? Trolleys? Yes, Paul, our zoo is quite unique. It's our pride. You won't see anything like it in others. Pride? But then why has the zoo been closed for the second year? Uh-huh. People say the zoo is going through tough times. How would I know? I'm just a simple man. Clock in and clock out. How long have you been working? Long enough to teach you everything. Come on, move the trolley. This is the entrance to the enclosure. What's this? To open the door, you need Ooh. to insert your PDA into the enclosure terminal and select open enclosure. Okay. Let's play with giraffe. Play with giraffe. I want to play with the giraffe. Symptom map. Okay. We are in the enclosure. Now we need to feed our little creatures. Take the oh. and dump the food in the feeding area. Hey guys. Oh, whoa. You guys are curious, huh? Where do you guys eat? Over here? Feeding area. There we go. Come on, guys. Let's go. Let's go so you can eat. Dump. Have some. Eat. Yeah. Giraffe. Sweet. All right, let's go. Uh, what's our next uh, mission, man? What do we gotta do for these drafts? Great. Now put on the MFE. What? What's that? Mobile fecal extractor. In simpler terms, a shit sucker. You've eaten shit before. What? Now you're going to suck it. I don't. No. Why do we need all this? We need to constantly monitor the health of the yeah, animals. Yeah, why? And taking excrement for tests is one of your key tasks. A hundred thousand a year, Paul. A hundred thousand fucking American dollars. You just have to collect the shit. Come on, Paul. Don't chicken out. You are evil.
Let's see. Right here. Uh, that one just ate, so I'll watch him. Oh, is he pooping? Yep. And that's all we needed. I want to pet the giraffe. I pet you. Hi, Poe. Hi, Poe. Can I get a pet? Yeah, that's a good giraffe. Lick my hand. That's a that's a good giraffe. That ain't a bad giraffe. That's a good giraffe. Now take the TIS. To avoid unnecessary questions, it's a thermal imaging system. You can just call it a thermal imager. It's okay. needed to determine the body temperature of our animals. What is it? Good. This. Now install it and measure the temperature of the giraffes. Why didn't I just measure the temperature while they were eating? Wouldn't that have been easier? No. Yeah, good Cleo. Posing for me, huh? Oh. You don't look good. You look unhealthy. Oh. Previous night zookeepers scattered equipment everywhere. Had to clean up after them in the morning. Some gadgets are still lying around on different stations and storage rooms. When you're there, grab those too. What? Why is he talking see, to himself? One of the giraffes isn't doing well. We need to make a dart with Temperalax. It's a medication for normalizing the temperature of animals. By the way, it was developed by one of the local eggheads. Interact with the terminal and press the exit and closure button. Okay. I don't trust you. All right, take the trolley back to the train. Do I have to make some medications too? Well, you studied chemical technology in Indiana. You'll manage. How do you know this? How do you know all this? Trust me, it's not something worth being surprised about here. But I barely yeah, lasted here. six months there. Got kicked out in the first year. No worries, that should be enough to mix a couple of ingredients following a ready-made formula. <laughs> Alright, something's off here. He's hiding something. I will get- I will figure out what the- I will figure out what he's hiding. There was a centipede here. What was that centipede, bud? Congratulations, Paul. You've just come closer to success and the well-being of your family. I put this now, in the poop chute. Go collected fecal matter into the biomaterial receiver. Don't carry anything into the car. Everything must be sterile. And don't forget to put the shit sucker back in its place. Okay. I knew it. You put the poop, the poop chamber, in the poop sucker. What I do now? What? Put it back there. Did I bring it in? Food? Why are you so jumpy? Now you need to what? load the trolley into the train. To do this, press the lever inside the car. Bro, you're a weirdo. You're just a weirdo. Trying to figure out what you're trying to get me to do. Excellent. Now this is our mobile vet station. Uh -huh. To make Temporalax, you need to load the station with enough vials. I did it this time, but in the future you'll have to gather the vials yourself to cook it up. Temporalax. But keep in mind, there are not so many vials. Think twice before using them. Perfect. Now take the dart from the dart. Cool, you've got Temporalax. Now load it into the veterinary gun. Uh -huh. It's in the gadget trolley. Oh, the veterinary gun. Load. Good. Now the only thing left is to dart the sick giraffe. Okay. The sick giraffe, Paul. Be careful. Don't confuse Bo with Poe. <laughs> Okay. Can I go in here? No. I thought he, he was talking to himself. Like, should I go in there or no? Hey, 
Hey, Bo. Hey, Po. Po. You gotta get medicated. I don't want to miss the shot. Got him. We got him. Target down. All right. You giraffes have have fun. I'll see you guys in a bit. Oh. I can scan. I can scan stuff. I don't like this. I don't trust you. So everything went smoothly? Seems yep. like it. I did this for the first time. Hopefully he'll get better soon. Well, don't doubt that. He better. We need to get back to the hub. I was about to say, the only thing left here is to go back, right? There's the wallaby, elephant, hippo. There's a lot of animals. There's a good amount. You and your smiling. That's a very untrustful smile. That tr that smile ain't fooling no one. Yeah, I see that sneer. You're sneering at me. Let's go. Escort me to the exit. It's time to leave you alone with our lovely zoo facilities. Fine. What is this? A grinder? Meat. Let's go. Let's go. What's this? Open. Ooh. Redix phytochemical. Is there more? Is there more? No? Okay. Every zookeeper is entitled okay. to a service car. This one what? will perform well tonight. You'll get one in the morning. Sweet. Is that your wife? Should I tell her you're staying here for the night? Keep in mind, I'll lock you in until morning. No problem. I think we'll figure it out and go home soon. As you wish. Good luck, Paul. Okay. Don't mess up. So... I get a car for working here. Something's not right. No normal zoo... Oh. I just forgot. I just was more focused on the car than my wife. I just realized. Oh. All right, he's out. So now what? Yo. Paul, you entered here. Who knows how long uh. ago? You're not answering calls. I'm worried. Lily, sweetheart. It's all good. Sorry, didn't hear you right. Go away. home. It's raining. Everything's okay. They put me on probation. I gotta figure I out what's happening. Immediately. You should just go home. I'll be back in the morning and tell you everything. Paul, but I saw them lock you up. It's not normal. Yeah, it's just protocol here. They took away my phone and made me sign an NDA. It's all, all good. Feed and treat the animals. Oh, uh, and by the way, uh, there's plenty of meat here. I want my girls to finally eat normal food. I'll be right back. Don't go away. I don't want to get. That's animal meat, though. Why? I don't want to give them... I have to? I need more herbs and stuff anyway, but... That's disgusting. Paul, you are a sick man. It's... Is it vegetables I want? No. Herb. We we'll get some herb in there. Get some more veg. We'll do a mix. Veg and herb. Veg and herb. And then I don't like the look of this meat. It does not look appetizing. This is meant for animals. All right, here you go. You wanted it. You want the meat. You get it. Oh. Oh. Lily, are you here? Yeah. Take this. Give Gina a kiss from Daddy. It's time for me to work. That's disgusting. All right, let's go to work. Um. Is there anything I can do? 
Bathroom? No. Chemical? No. Overalls. Cardboard hat. C J J H W E R Scott D P Cronenberg. I can't. I doubt I can go in there. I'm not the right person. All right. So now what? Is there fit? Oh, the lever. Is this what calls the fish? Yes, it does. This calls the fish over. Let's go. Let's get going. Let's go play with... Actually, I want to go see... Uh... He was talking about going in the storage. Is it just that it was, it was the tutorial and that's why I couldn't go there? Let me go check real quick. Wallaby Gorilla Penguin. I like those animals. Those sound like some good animals. Let's get going. I just want to check real quick. It's probably just because it was tutorial, but... Can I go here? The phone's ringing. Hello? Oh! Hello? Who's there? Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Oh, thank God. Finally. Uh, please don't hang up. I've been trying to reach my husband all day. He's uh -huh. a scientist. Clarence J. Summers. Oh, that was the guy CJ. in the locker. I'm sorry, ma'am. I'm here alone. Please check for me. He should be in the lab. What lab? Uh, is there a lab here? Oh, I understand. You're new. Then one last request. Look in his locker in the break room. Code 1768. 1768. This doesn't feel right. Paul, I'm begging you. CJ needs to take his medication regularly. I just want to make sure he has them with him. Okay. Just open the locker. That's all. I'll call back. All right. Ooh, I got more chemical. What's this? Chemical, chemical. Chemical. Anything else in here? So we got a phone call about a missing guy that was on the locker. So she is looking for her husband. So already things are going wrong. What was that? Yep, I saw it. I saw it. Chemicals. I love it. Okay. So let's head back to the hub actually then. I think I I I, I honestly think I didn't have to give my wife the meat. I think I could have gave her like fish. I think the fish would have been better. The meat is not good. Alrighty. We are back. Let's go in his locker. What's in here? One, seven, six, eight. What do we got? floppy disk and a PDA CJ's PDA what does this say testing experimental meds on mutated specimens they don't work during the frustration phase the pathological cell division process must be completed in other words the organism must fully mutate access to experimental drugs is located in vet station that doesn't sound good I want the axe. Can I get the axe out? That'd be nice. Alright. So the next place I'll go to is, uh... Hmm. Let's go see the, uh... Let's go see the wallabies. Let's go see them. They are next. I don't like anything that is going on. Alright. 
so let us prepare their food. So, wallaby. Need two. 8.8. .8. I'll say this. 1.8, okay. One. Uh, we'll do this. Exactly. Exact food. That's how you do it. So, if I'm not mistaken, I'm gonna do the same thing before I actually... Pull my cart out. I'm gonna check for another storage area. He was tough. I I don't know why he was talking to himself. Did I miss a trigger? I feel like I would missed a trigger or something. What's this? A note. Anything? No. What's this? Oh, there is a storage. Chemicals. More chemicals. A phone. Nothing. Chemical. 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 What's this? Chemical and a PDA. Anthony. What do you got, Anthony? I just saw something horrible. I shot lethal dart, but one wasn't enough. It took around 300 milliliters, but it worked. It worked. I'm alive. Something is not here and right. Something's... Okay. Let me get all these chemicals. And let's get going. So, it looks like animals are mutating just from the PDA entries. So, already I know now that the only way to cure them is to let them fully infect. That's great. So that means at some point, sooner or later, I'm gonna have to fight. But that guy, Anthony, seemed to, uh, seemed to have killed the, uh, creature. I have medicine from CJ to cure him. I'm gonna try to cure them. We're gonna try curing them. Oh, I got two slots. We'll do that. That'll be easy. You okay? Something's wrong with that one. Come on, come eat. Dinner. Whoa. Alright, let me scan you all. There you go, bam. Penny and Amy. No, Penny. Oh, Amy, are you okay? Woo. Okay, I gotta- I gotta help Amy out a little bit. So we did that. That. What else is there? Sound. Water. Poop. So what's sound? What is this? Oh, it's a flashlight. So I'm gonna guess this is sound. And is it want... I'm gonna guess blood. So... Let's get blood. Hey, Penny! So we got Penny. That's one. So, Penny. Penny. Sally. So, we got Penny, Sally. Good. Good wallaby. Wally, you're the last one. Last one, Wally. Coming up. Hey there. You're the last one. Alright. Do all this. 
So far, this game's pretty enjoyable. I like it. So... Good graphics, not really lagging or anything. I mean, nothing's wrong with it. There's a lot of heat on the, It was mixed messages on Steam. You okay? Amy is like freaking out. Sally. Wally. And Penny. Let's pet Penny. Hey, Penny. Get a nice pet in. That's a good wallaby. Okay, so we got everything we needed. We just need poop now, I think. Alright. We got one. Two. That poor wallaby, I could hear. I could hear her. We gotta help. We gotta help. There's one more somewhere. There's one more somewhere. One more poop somewhere. I'm not missing it. There it is. Let's, uh, let's go help him out. Okay, so we got everything. Actually, here, let me hold that. I'm gonna have to put it in the chute anyway. Alright, so. We got everything we're gonna need. So let's push the cart back. So far, so good. Nothing going wrong. We're just helping animals. Just helping the animals along. Yup. Okay. Then we'll pull this in. We'll donate the blood. Okay. Now, what is wrong with my boy the wallaby? Diagnosis. So, blood and poop. Ulcerative col- God. So... Ulcerative... There we go. This is the one. So this, and that should help. That should help. Got that. And we got this. All right, gastro guard. Let's go help, let's go help him out. And who is it? Amy. Amy. Ooh. Yeah, is that, that, that looks like Amy. There you go, Amy. There we go. Now that's a healed up, healed up wallaby. All good. Oh. Phone call. Hello? Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. I'm sorry, ma'am. I haven't had a chance to look around yet. What's with the ma'am? Mm. Oh, nothing. A woman called. Looking for someone named CJ. Uh oh. Searching for her husband. That bitch again. Although CJ's no saint either. Always hanging around some girls, lying to his wife that oh. he's in the lab. And we don't even have labs here. Anyway, forget it. Why am I calling you? There'll be a food delivery soon, and you um, need to grind some fresh meat. Got okay. It? Got yes, it. Sir. 
Excellent. I'll call you later. All right. I guess uh, we're getting some like ground. We're getting like a chunk of pig or something. We're gonna go grind something. We're gonna go grind some meat up. Oh. Oh. Okay. That injection did something. This definitely tells me now. Something's wrong. He did something. He did something to me. So we'll put this back. And I guess we'll go grind some meat. Doing good, doing good. Not much going on. We're at the hub. I don't know why I was getting so much hate this game. This game's pretty fun so far. I mean, I'm playing with all the animals. I gotta play with giraffe and wallabies. Where do I go? Here? Grinder? Oh, supply. Alright. What do you got for me? Whoa! Dude? Why is there a person there? Hello? Damn. I, I mean, at night zookeeper. Yeah, Paul hello? Me. Damn, I mean. Don't worry, Paul. It's me again. How's it going? Do you need any explanations? Yes, I do. Oh, I definitely do. I thought you had beef or, uh, I don't know, lamb in the fridge. And there. Just body? And there's a long neck pig. Mm. You see, Paul, dozens of parasites spread from the mother every day. Why? They infiltrate our animals and they turn into. How shall I put it? Well, monsters. And they have specific tastes. What are they you talking meat. about? What the? What the Just out of nowhere, out of left field. What? <laughs> Relax. The mother is securely locked away. Not much is known about her, so they study her. Forget about it. You know your tasks. Yeah. Don't worry about the rest. Fuck. I gave a piece of meat to my wife. Oh. You did what? Uh oh. <laughs> Sorry, Paul, but it's really ridiculous. Life gives you a chance to become a worthy, well-off person, and you take the easy way. I don't think that's the easy way. The simple theft. There won't be any more indulgence. So if they say Dude. grind bodies, you grind. They'll say kill, you kill. Got it? Got it. Just tell me where my phone is. I'll call Lily. Maybe she and Gina haven't eaten yet. Dude. I won't allow it, chum. If you call your wife, it'll be a direct violation of the NDA. No, Paul, you won't drag me into this. You'll have to fully feel Dude, the consequences of your you're misdeed. making me feed and her now human stop meat. whining and go to work. I guess we grind this person up. I mean... Alright, we'll grind her up. Uh, 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 uh. Dude! Dude, dude, she's alive. Hello? Um, zookeeper, Doc. Connelly. Why so grim? Problems? You knew, huh? Uh, what the hell is going on here? Fuck. I almost threw a live girl into the grinder. Where did she come from? Alive? Alive? Well, well, oh. 20 mil of xylosine and she's still with us. But fortunately, this problem is easy to solve. Pull the drop lever and the girl will turn into a couple of bricks, Dude. just like you've dealt with before. Easy peasy. Fuck! I suspected this place wasn't clean, but uh, why else such big bucks? I can Dude. find a couple of bucks, but I'm not going to get involved in crime and risk my family. Fuck you. Well, no one is asking you. <laughs> in general, look at your hands. What you mean? What the hell is this? Oh! Did you poison me? You injected me. Poison? <laughs> Who do you think I am? A desperate housewife? No, Paul. I infected you. And by the way, I did it for your own good. You see dozens of parasites spread out of the mother every day. They infiltrate our animals Why and they transform, are to put you... it mildly. Well, let's say they mutate. What the hell is this damn mother? Dude. <laughs> Not much is known about her, so they study what? her. But right now, the same parasite is squirming inside you. Where's and the cure? And if you behave well, they'll take it out. And if not, who knows? Maybe it will be even better for Lily and Gina. Bro. Fuck! I gotta save my wife and kid. Okay, so this is not a zoo. This is, uh, experimentation- uh, ex 
This is a, this is basically Resident Evil. Let me get her. Let me get her out. I'm not. I'm not dropping her. I'm not. I refuse. We'll just keep this blurred because you know, just no clothing. So yeah, we're not. We're not doing that. Uh. So there's a couple things. A couple clothing options. Jacket and you got overalls. So when you wake up, put on some clothes. Uh. All right. What's next? Let's do a penguin. Let's do the penguin. Well, she uh, we saved her, so hopefully she wakes up. That's all I can really say. That's all I can say. All right, we're here. Okay, so penguin food. Fish. We'll do... This. 2.1. Perfect. So that's the food for the, uh, penguins. This is pretty nice. We saved a girl. We gotta help my wife, though. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna be able to call her. I gotta somehow call her. I gotta find a phone. Is there more chemical before I go running around? Before I bring the trolley over? Oh, storage. There is a storage. Let's go in here. So this is basically like an umbrella facility at this point, honestly. They're just creating and experimenting on animals and seeing what they can make. Whatever the mother is. Oh, I've given you access to the recipes for the infected specimens in the kitchen factory. Feed them. When they turn, the meat can calm them down. Okay, I don't like that. More chemicals? Take all that. Take that. Another PDA. Anthony. What do you got? I finally found a way to cure that damn human with the experimental meds. I found access in CJ's PDA. Looks like he's an important dude around here. Gave the mutant an injection of Toxus Feralis and this really worked. Awesome news. And by the way, it seems mutant mutants can mimic different diseases. Okay. So yeah, we, uh, we're gonna cure, we're gonna try and cure any mutated monsters we come across. That's my goal. I don't want to, uh, I don't want to have to like, you know, I don't want to game end one of them. I don't want to, like, have to RKO a penguin into, like, the underworld. That'd be kind of ridiculous. If it's not the penguin's fault. I know it's just those parasites, so... Let us go and assist the penguins. We gotta, uh, we're gonna have to wait for that girl to wake up. We gotta wait for that girl to wake up. Hopefully she can open the door, maybe. Maybe it's her handprint that'll uh, open the door. Hey guys. Oh, the penguins. Where do I feed you? Ooh, picture. I can't get. What is this? Uh, okay, so right here. Feeding area. Oh, here. Do this right there. Go ahead, guys. Eat to your heart's content. All for you. There's Luna, Coco, Rocky. Oh. They don't want me getting their temperature. Tinker. Okay. Who haven't I gotten yet? Misty. Hey, Misty. Misty, Coco, Luna, Daisy.
Daisy's a little spooked. Daisy, no, 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 no. Daisy. Daisy, what are you doing? Let me get your temperature. Please, I just need your temperature. There, thank you. Okay. No. Uh, I just said no. How many times do I gotta look at this thing? Okay. Put that there, there. We get, uh, this and, oh no. Put that there, that there. We'll grab this whatever we can grab with that actually this all right tinker daisy another one oh you're good rocky who's the next one Misty. So Daisy don't like it. Who's in here? Anyone in here? Coco and Luna. Okay. So everyone's good. And then we'll get all this poop. There's a lot of penguins. These poor, poor penguins, all sick. Anything here? Any more poop? Okay, I gotta wait a minute. They're kind of scared of me. So while that's happening, I'm gonna go in the cave. And I'll wait a minute. Hey Luna. That's a good penguin. So where are the mutants? One of these penguins gotta be mutated somehow. Who's that Luna? So Luna... All these penguins don't want none of it. They're gonna... There we go. Those are good penguins. Don't tell me I gotta tranquilize all these penguins. I saw I can make it, but I don't want to have to. There we go, Coco. Luna, Coco. Yeah, Luna, Coco. Here, let me wait a sec. But, uh, uh, this actually give me a chance to go use the restroom, so I'll let him calm down. Okay, so I just got all their poop. I'm gonna need the, the dark gun, so. So we'll do that. Put the poop into the sucker. I need to trank them.
see. I didn't get Daisy. Well, here, actually, let me see this. Let me look at this. So. So, I'm just gonna conduce. No, I can't. Because at the minimum, it's sound. What if it's sound and poop? But if it's just sound, I still need, I need one more poop. Need one more poop, I need a little more blood. So, yeah, okay. Let's make five of them. I made six. We'll do this. And then we'll go get some blood. That's not good. Okay, I need to get the one last thing of poop and figure out what it is that it has. Okay. Uh. What are you doing? Oh my goodness! I need one of the sick ones to give me blood. And this one keeps flying! Oh my goodness! Sick ones. Where's one of the sick ones? Sound. Rocky, come here. Oh! I need the syringe. Put it down. Now, where's Rocky? Rocky, please, where are you? Where did Rocky go? Rocky, oh my god. Of course, Rocky went right into his den. Give me some blood, Rocky. I gotta see what it's mimicking. Go donate the blood. I gotta go donate it. I just gotta donate it. Donate to figure out what it is and go get more blood. Okay, still asleep. Good, good. Rocky, I swear. Switch, get one more shot in. Let me go figure out what's wrong. Okay. Something is wrong with the blood. Sound. No. Sound. Blood. Leprosis. Uh, leprosis, 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 sound blood, 
Leptospirosis, right? Leptospirosis, yep. Oh my goodness. Oh, let me actually get one more trank just in case. Oh! One more. There, that's all I need. Okay. Okay. And this should cure. Okay, yep, that was the right one. Got another one. No! Oh! And he just picked me up. I'm flying. I'm flying. You're almost, I almost cured you. It's okay. go. I'm gonna use this thing to suck it up. There we go. Got it. Okay. I need Daisy Tinker. Okay. I need three. I need three of those things. Oh. There you go. Do that. I'm gonna need two more tranks. And it was for Lepterosis or whatever it is. One, two, three. Daisy's all good. And Tinker. Alrighty. We got what we needed, so. Let's get going. Wait, didn't I see something? Yes, I did. Alright. Uh-oh. Yakking! We're yakking! That's no good. Ew! Okay, we gotta... We gotta get going. The last place is the gorilla. So everyone's cured. Let's head back to the hub and go see what she's up to. Let's see if she's awake by now. She should be awake. I mean... Alrighty. Is she awake? She is awake. Hey, how you doing? You got the axe out. It's okay. I won't touch you. I'm the night zookeeper, Paul Connolly. And you? What's up? Sarah Watkins, investigative journalist for Pine Valley. Thanks for saving me. Too bad I can't return the favor. Sarah Watkins. What do you mean? You probably already know that you've been injected with something. Some kind of parasite. You also know something yes. about these parasites. But how do you know? These parasites. Sorry, bro. Journalists don't reveal their sources. I can only say that we don't have much time. And the main thing now is to open this stupid door with a biometric lock to gather evidence for the article. And expose oh. these bastards. Can you help me? I don't know what else I could do. Okay. Oh, I can't help you there. So, we're just gonna go to the gorillas. Can I make gorilla food? That's the last place we have. Ooh. 
Ooh, okay, pretty close. And then 2.5 of this. We'll do that. 2.3. Alright. We got the gorilla started. Let's go. Okay. What is it? This? Got a got a hand. All right, let's get going. Look what I got. Let's see if it works. All for you. All for Wait, you. Is this a human hand? Where did you get it? The right, bio waste filter. Somehow I feel like. Well, never mind. Try to use it on a scanner. That's what I was planning to do. You feel like what? Oh. Cool. Let's go see where these maniacs conduct their experiments. Let's get going. Here we go. I'm not sure I want to go in. I just want to get through this night and go back to my family. Are you out of your mind? There's a parasite in you. You'll mutate soon. Do you think uh, anyone will let you out of here? Anyway, it's up to you, but if I close this door, I won't let you in. All right, let's go. What's down here? Narcissism. Disgusting face. Oliver. A oh, he is Doc. Okay, so this is Doc. Life. And vitamin B9. Oliver is Doc. That's Doc. My daytime shift colleague. For a daytime zookeeper, your Doc has too many scientific degrees. I bet he's the head honcho here. He probably is, considering he injected me with a uh, random liquid. What's this? Clarence J. Summers. Now we know who extended a helping hand to us. Poor CJ. Did you know him? No. Why? Ah. Uh. All right, in my phone. Oh, my cell. Oh, Better my phone. One call. Damn. I need to call my wife urgently. Don't call. Let's find something substantial, and then we can call uh, the police. No, I gave her the meat brick. I gotta, I gotta tell her it's human. I gotta make sure she don't eat it. Hello, Paul. Is that you? You said they took your phone. I found. Don't eat it. the meat. Tell me, have you had dinner already? Oh, Paul. Thank you. I decided to make no. a mod. The smell is all over the house. I can't wait Don't for eat it. to try it. It's not good for you. You guys haven't eaten it yet? No, it's still in the oven. Gina is sleeping, and I feel guilty eating such a delicious dish alone. Thank God. Lily, throw it away immediately. Paul, what are you talking about? Don't Lily, eat darling, the I'm meat. Sorry. No time to explain. It's My human. My phone is about to die. Just do as I said. I'll be back home in the morning, and I'll tell you everything. Fantastic. Bam. There's a computer, but no data. Okay. Disc? Take this. I found it in one of the lockers. Well, of course. Here's the password. Damn. You're not a hacker by any chance, are you? Not even close. I can guess the password only if I know who came up with it. Damn. Then we're at a dead end. Uh. Uh. Did a monster just get? What is this? A monster just break in? Deal with another mutant. Fuck. Let's still call the cops. At least they'll get us out of here. I'll think about it. Can you? We delivered some fresh meat. Damn. The phone did die after all. Uh. Well, I called my wife. That's all that matters. So, let's go deal with the last mutant. Was it a gorilla? So that's where we're going next. We're going to see the gorillas. So far, not bad. Good graphics. It's quick. It's quick pacing, though. It's very quick. Uh, I can understand, though, with the passing. One of the writers halfway through development passed. 
so I'm not gonna harshly criticize this game at all, honestly. Because honestly, for how it looks and the price, it's not like a $60 AAA game that came out. So I don't understand the mixed reviews with more people being angry about the length of the game for the price. I'm like, it's a around a, it's a $25 game. It's not too crazy. And this is pretty enjoyable to play. And who knows, down the line, they could just add more stuff to this game. Like, realistically, you always could just add more stuff to the game further down the line. Ew. Um, that doesn't sound good. So, from what we know, at least now, uh... So, Doc, also known as Oliver, he's the one, uh, in charge of these experiments. And it seems like Sarah is an investigative journalist who got captured by him, it seems. Got captured, and, uh, he was trying to silence her until we came along and saved her. So. Because we're not- we, we weren't gonna grind her into meat. But, uh, there's not even an animal here that eats meat anyway, so. PDA, Anthony. What'd I get? Damn, something strange is happening to me. An overwhelming urge to eat this raw meat. My hand grabbed a piece on its own and I devoured it almost without chewing. Alright, Anthony's gone. Alright, there's nothing we can do about him. More chemical, more chemical. This is... Ugh, this is great though. I would love if they add more animals for down line. Like, add more to the hub. Or like... Hmm, I don't know. They could- they could do- honestly, they probably could do a massive overhaul of the games. But so far, I'm not even done with the game yet, and I feel like- I feel like I'm at the end almost... ...with... ...only four... ...enclosures I'm able to visit. Okay, here we go. We're gonna see the gorillas. Hey, guys. You wanna eat? I got some food. He's a little angry. Whoa. He is strutting toward the food. Oh, they're all sick. Chief, Thor, Dexter, Pepper. All right, we got the temperature. We'll grab this. And the sound. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. There we go. Pepper, Dexter. Ah. Uh, okay, so they're all good on noise. So let me put this away. We go get some. I'm gonna eat more. One, two. Um, okay, I need blood though. Okay, we got three. Oh, why am I lagging? Okay. Dexter. Let me get some blood. Get a little bit. Yeah, that's a good... That's a good animal. Pepper. Let me get some. Thank you, Pepper. That's a good gorilla. That's a good gorilla. Alright, who's next? Who's next? 
chief. Hey, chief. What's up, chief? Get a little bit of blood. A little bit. Uh... Okay. I think I'm missing... They are being very aggressive with one another. Okay, that should be all I need. Who did I... got what I needed. I hope that's enough. I hope I got the one I needed. I really do. Let's get going. So, push this all the way back. Put the feces in. Bam. All good. All set. Donate this. Pull this in. There we go. Let's see. What's up with the... What's up with the animal, please? Oh, thank goodness. Chief. Sound and poop. Allergy. Really? That's it? Allergy? Okay. One of those. He has allergies? I didn't realize he had allergies. So, let me get... Let me make three more. And just in case. Yeah. One, two, three. So we got all that. We're probably gonna need to get blood sample anyway. Yep. <laughs> Okay, okay, that's a big gorilla. Where is he? Where is he going? He's sleeping. Keep him asleep. Oh no. That isn't good. I can't see. I can't see a thing. Oh my gosh, it's so dark. Okay. It was for allergies. Put this away. I'm gonna need my flashlight. For allergies, uh... Mimicking allergies. Okay, there. see a 
thing. Oh my goodness. What's in here? Okay, got it. Got one. Two. One more, one more. I don't want to miss. Uh, woo. There you go, Thor. That's a good Thor. Couldn't see a thing. I was like, what was going on? Grab that and this. We'll take this. And that's the parasite dealt with. There we go. Oh, okay. We did it. Oh. Hello. What's up? Hello. Who's here now? Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Hey, Paul, this is Mrs. Oh, hey, Summers. Linda. Did you find anything? Miss Summers. I'm sorry to say this, but it seems something terrible has happened to your husband. Yeah, I, real terrible. I found his hand. Just his hand. Oh, God. Miss Summers. Miss Summers, are you there? I understand you're in shock right now, but please call the police. Tell them that I and the journalist Sarah Watkins are locked in the old zoo. Uh-huh. Sarah Watkins? Seriously? Is CJ messing around with that slut again? Oh my gosh, well, Sarah, you today. lied to me. Tell her that these idiotic pranks won't work on me this time. You found CJ's hand? <laughs> Let that bastard try to come home. I won't just cut off his hand. I'll cut off his dick. Sarah, why did you lie to me? Sarah, you just straight lied to me. Do you know him? Uh, no. You're such a liar. Now that I know, I'm gonna make you feel like such a horrible person. And I'm vomiting. Oh no. We're getting boils and pustules. Oh boy. Let's put this centipede thing in here. All good. Let's head back to the hub. To the hub we go. So Sarah just straight up lied to me about knowing him. So that's her source at least. At least we know that's her source. Alright, let's go tranquilize her. Let's go see if that helps. Damn, you look awful. Yeah. Fuck you. Why didn't you mention that you slept with CJ? So your source? Uh, just looking you know? around. Answer. Uh, well, his wife. Kind of. I slept with him. He promised information about the parasites. Instead, There's no kind of. I you did. I a bag over my head and a syringe with a tranquilizer. What if I tell you I found a floppy disk in his locker? Would it be easier for you to guess the password? Oh, shit. Why didn't you say that earlier? Honestly, yeah, why didn't he? Why didn't he just say, oh yeah, I was in this dude CJ's locker? Paul, we need to hurry. You're about to be paralyzed and then you'll mutate. But we can still save you. I'm gonna send the poison formula to your PDA right now. Sweet. Paul, What's that? There's no time for that. Hello? Who is it now? Night Zookeeper, Paul Connolly. Idiot. Moron. Uh -oh. Asshole. What the hell did you tell that bitch? Uh -huh. CJ's wife. I warned you that you have to do everything they tell you. Do you know what I'm going to do with you now? Nothing. Fuck you. You've already done everything. I have a parasite inside me that turns me into a mutant. So that's how it is. You probably noticed that the animals didn't touch you. It's because of the parasite. Only uh, thanks to it, they see you as one of their own. That's no In good. Ball, you've messed up a lot. But it can still be fixed. Finally send that bitch Watkins to the grinder and wait for me at the entrance. 
Only then no. will you get the antidote and maybe keep your job. We're gonna. Who's that? Metzger? What did he say? No. CJ came up with a poison formula that could work on Mother. She's connected to all the parasites. Kill her, kill them all. all Even right. those already parasitizing living organisms will die. Okay, let's go make a poison. With what exactly? What do I need? I hope I have enough chemicals. I wasn't gonna kill her. I don't know why you think I would do that after all this time. You just poisoned me, dude. Why? She's telling me, oh, yeah, here, I have it right on PDA. We'll do this and poison the mother. All right. Oh, wait, what? Not in here? What do I gotta do? That? Oh, what? Parasite. What the? Okay. What is... Okay, I need to read. Information, how to determine the female of a parasite? Okay, so type A, B, and Y. Parasex. Females to be fertilized by several males. The males do not compete with each other, but show attention to the females. This reproductive strategy ensures high efficiency and adaptability. But what? There's only one, the rest of them are males, and it's all one female, right? B. This species of parasite stands out due to its unique adaptability and reproductive strategy. Females play an active role in searching for males, exploring their environment in search of suitable partners. Males, on the other hand, prefer to remain passive and do not exhibit activity towards females. I think it might be B. So what's why? A unique species of parasite where males exhibit high aggression and do not tolerate competition among themselves. They actively fight for the right to mate. Using violence until only one survivor remains, the female of the species waits. So the female waits. The female waits. But this one, B, the females are the ones looking for the males. So if that's the case, this female is looking at both males then. And then if I do this, the female is only looking at the one male. Okay. So I think it's gonna be that one, the one that's moving around. Because these guys are passive. Every three of them are passive. Males remain passive and do not exhibit any activity. So these dudes are all passive on her. So that's the female. This has to be it. That's got to be it, right? I really hope this is correct. It seems like I can get multiple endings now that I know this. I don't like that. I don't like it. I don't like that there's different endings. I hope this is the right one. All right. Sarah, I think I think I made the proper one. So before we do this, we'll do a quick recap. This entire place is like an umbrella research facility. Oliver himself, Oliver the main man, he is the one in charge of this whole facility looking at this creature, the mother. The mother releases parasites that go throughout the zoo and occasionally infect the animals and people. So Sarah is an investigative journalist that had slept with CJ to get information on what was going on here. But because of that, Doc probably ended up getting CJ removed, and Sarah was the next to be removed and put into the grinder. So, what we're doing now is pretty much 
toppling his entire empire and going to pretty much game end the mother, so. And if I did it right, what was supposed to happen, what's supposed to be explained to me is that everyone, every other parasite is male, but there's one female I need to make this poison. So, I really hope I picked the right fem the right parasite, because that one was interacting with both, I mean, not both, but all three of the other ones. That has to be the female. The poison is ready. Whoa. What's next? Here's the injector. But I'm afraid we have a oh. problem. Only Doc has access to oh. the biometric lock from the mother's enclosure. I'm and mutating already. The mother must take poison with food. But the food must be alive. So, inject poison into Sarah or myself? I'm already gonna, like, mutate anyway. Why would I inject into her? She, she seems like she's healthy. I'm, I'm doing sure it to myself. Must be another way. Let's go to the mother's enclosure. Let's go. Let's see if I did. Let's see if I did it right. Did I? Did I? Did I save the world? Paul, you're about to be paralyzed. I think I won't be able to inject the poison myself. All right. You need to do it. Here we go. No, I'll do better. I'll shed light on this shit. Just wait for the doc. All right, here we go. This is doc. Faster. Inject me with the poison, Sarah. Come on. Let's go. We got this. We got it. We have to avoid a pleasant surprise. Usually your colleagues pass out in the most unexpected places, but you got paralyzed right next to mother. Saves me the trouble of dragging you. Yes, Paul, you're right. Oh this my is the end. It's just amazing how all of you oh. losers fall for the promise of success. Uh. But let's admit it, the only thing you're good for is food. What? Girl, it's lunchtime. Yes! Well, Sarah, this yes! Is our DJ. Yes! Let's go! We did it! What? Paul! Paul, you're alive! We did it! Oh my god, we actually did it. We actually picked the right one. Let's get out of here. I'm gonna search up in his. I'm gonna search up after this cutscene if there are multiple endings. Yeah. We got a fire whip for all that, and we cured the animals. Okay. What? What happened? What's going on? Paul saved Sarah and helped her with the investigation. He also called Lily, which ensured her safety and well-being. Sarah's plan worked. She managed to inject Doc with poison. The poison was prepared prepared correctly, and the mother died. Paul's mutation was halted, and he regained his senses. Sarah took the camera with all the video evidence and helped Paul escape from the zoo. Pine Valley began to thrive. Okay, that's sweet. In loving memory of Alexander Dig. This is who I was talking about earlier who passed away. Halfway through development, rest in peace, dude. You made for however, for however much you developed in this game, you did a great job. Rest in peace. Seriously, there people were saying that this game was a flop, and there was just at least from what I read, just for, like oh, there's all this potential, and it could have been this, could have been that. Should, oh, why is it released so early? I'm like. This is a still a good game. It's from my, at least for me personally, this was a great game to play. There was honestly, the only cons is I really just want more. Like that's really it. I, I don't have many issues with the game. I don't know why it, a good amount of people are saying this isn't a good game. Just from the reviews, this game just came out. Let it, settle a little bit they're gonna be they're releasing patch notes so they are updating the game this was a great experience i managed to save my wife i saved sarah i saved paul i i i think i got honestly a good ending now here actually wait let me actually search it up real quick let me do that real quick i'll search it up okay so yeah from what i'm seeing here there is there is a lot of endings. 
there's a good amount and I'm gonna I, I guess I got the best ending you could get I would say at least like this is considered the best possible ending I could have gotten like period point blank oh that's awesome so I got best ending first try let's go can I like skip this or I don't want to keep going through it speed throw a new an Ooh, zebra we got a zebra <gasps> the moose we got a moose a hippo and we got oh my god we got an elephant This is... Oh, okay. New Game Plus. Okay. So, yeah. That... This is an enjoyable game. I don't know why so many people... Uh, why a good amount of people have issue with it. It's... For what it's worth, 25 bucks. It was on sale, so 22 For a good two hours of gameplay, and then you have New Game Plus from what it looks like, with the multiple different endings, there is re replayability with... The animals, it looks like. But since I got the bo best possible ending, uh, I'm not going to make another video on this unless people would want to see me look at the other animals. But again, that was Zucosis, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next game. So, yeah. See ya.